Good morning, good morning, everyone. What is happening, community? Sorry for the delay this morning. I'm trying to adjust this camera to make sure you guys can see everything. Let's see here, step out. Yeah. Internet issues. <laughs> it's only been on for a week and I'm having an issue already. So my apologies. I'm supposed to be coming in here at 6.30 three days a week. So that's our time from now on. Um, it's almost seven, so let's get started. Remember, before any workout, you need to be warmed up before you do anything. So today is a full body, body weight workout. We're gonna be doing body weight tricep press, sumo squat calf raises, a push-up variation, a single leg glute bridge, and then Superman swimmers. So again, Get warmed up before you do this. I'm gonna go through the exercises so you guys can see what they are and then we're gonna get right after it. So, what is a tricep body weight press or body weight tricep press? So we're gonna get down on the floor. You're gonna be in a side sit sitting position. Top leg foot is over the front foot. One hand, your front hand is gonna be directly in line with your chest. You're gonna have the other one like you're doing a side plank, but it's out at an angle. This is for triceps, remember? So it's a push up, push down and up. Do not lock the elbows up when you come back up, down and up, down and up. You can do this also up against a counter sideways, okay? And then switch to the other side. Front hand, get yourself in position. Front hand. The further you go out with this move, the more tricep you're gonna get. So the more side plank you get with this move, and again, hand is in line with the center of the chest. Right arm is fully extended out, press down and up. Same thing with the push-up. You wanna reach down, touch your chest, back up. Keep that core fully engaged. Lock it up. You're going to feel this in your obliques as well, guys. Whew. Okay, next exercise is a sumo squat calf raises. We've done these before. Let me get my hair out of the way here. Sumo squat position. Legs are wide. Beyond your hips. Toes are at a... Okay, so here we go. Sumo squat. Wide legs, 45 degree angle, knees stay behind the toe. You're gonna go down in that squat, lift one heel, the other heel, back up and squeeze. Sumo squat, up, up, back up and squeeze those inner thighs. Sumo squat, up. Good morning, see you guys all coming in here. That's the second exercise. Then we're gonna do a push up variation. So. A lot of us can't really do push-ups, so we're going to do a push-up variation, okay? We're going to go down on the ground. We're going to start with a uh, tabletop position. I'm going to get out of the crack of my mat here. Fingers are spread wide. Wrists are in line with your armpits. Your chest is over, where you're, over your thumbs, basically. We're going to step back with our knees, kick our feet up. Pull that core in, push off the ground, and we're gonna do push-up variation. If this is too hard to keep your hands this close, you can widen your hands, and you don't have to go all the way down. You can go partially down, but I want everything lined up, okay? Push-up variation. We're getting that upper body strong. We're gonna do a single leg glute bridge. I'm hoping that my screen is clear because I see something on it. I hope you guys can see me. If you guys can see me, let me know. What's up, Elaine? <laughs> I'm not sure why things are coming in you're not supposed to be. So, single leg glute bridge, down on the ground. Feet are up in that hip bridge position. Core is fully locked up, zip it up. Tall torso, okay, hands flat. Single leg glute bridge. So you're gonna bring one, your body up, and the knee's gonna to come to the chest and back down. So body up and down, up and down. Okay, single leg glute bridge. The 
next thing we are doing is Superman swimmers. You got it, we're on our bellies. And you can do these on a couch, on a bed. Any of these exercises can be done on a couch or bed, except for the standing ones, of course, right? So hands and feet out in front, and we are kicking, we're swimming, okay? We're swimming to that other side of that pool. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, so remember, get warmed up before you do this. We're gonna go right into our workout. Tricep presses. Get in that side plank position. Bend those knees. Top leg is over the bottom leg. Left hand is out in front. Right hand is in line with your chest. And here we go, y'all. 40 seconds. Take a deep breath in. And press. This is obliques, triceps, shoulders, pecs armpit muscles, you name it. This guy is hitting everything. Even your glutes should be involved. So I want you squeezing your thighs, squeezing your glutes, okay? Press, keep those fingers spread. Deep breath. Press, two more. Last one. Keep that chin and chest up, shake it out. We're switching sides. Here we go, guys. Right arm out to the side, like you're gonna do a side plank, but it's way extended. Left arm at your chest, and knees are bent. Top leg is over the bottom leg. Here we go, ready? Press down and up, down. My arms are shaking already, you guys. <laughs> So I know y'all are shaking with this one. And remember, you don't have to go all the way down. You don't have to go all the way down, okay? Just press through, use your breath. Your breath is your power. Keep that core zipped up. Your core is doing a lot of this work too. Push. We got 10 seconds, nine, seven, three, Last two. Nice. Okay, we're going into that sumo squat calf raise. So stand up really strong. Feet, 45 degree angle. Legs outside the hip line, standing tall. We are not bending forward with the sumo squat. We're staying straight up and down. Sumo squat, heel raise and back up and squeeze those inner thighs. Notice that my knees never straighten up. There's a reason for that. I don't like you to hyperextend anything. And when you squeeze with your knees bent, it's completely firing that inner thigh, right? And your glutes, squeeze those thighs. The next thing we're going into is that single leg glute bridge. Hey, hey, people, come on in. I am so happy to be back doing live workouts. We're gonna be bringing you so many different workouts, challenging you all in this new year. Last one. And shake it out. We're gonna go down on the ground. So this is a new year. We're challenging everyone to up your fitness and health levels. So what can you do today to change what you're doing to make your health better? Comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Okay, here we go guys. We're going back on our backs. Roll back nice and soft. Glute bridge. Single leg glute bridge. Heels are about hand width away from your booty. Press up knee to the chest. Press up knee to the chest. So hip bridge, knee comes up. Hip bridge, knee comes up. Hip bridge, yeah. Really get that hip bridge in there. Hip bridge, very controlled. Up and knee in, up, nice. 
We have so much construction going on across the street. I hope you guys don't hear all that banging. <laughs> There's a jackhammer going. Two more. And down. And roll over. The next thing we're doing are Superman. So, uh, oops, we forgot. Push-up variation. Okay, we're going to roll over onto our stomach. Or onto our hands and knees. Fingers are wide open. Wrist is in line with that armpit. Knees start out on tabletop. If you can't get your knees back to do this push-up variation, you can do it in tabletop, which is the beginner um, workout for learning a push-up. Okay, tabletop. Toes are planted so that you're grounded. Pull up that core, push down to the ground, touch your nose, and come back up. This is the start of it. Okay, this is a push-up variation. You do not have to touch the ground with your nose. You can go down as far as you can when you're shaking and then come back up. As far as you go down and shaking and come back up. Or your knees are out behind you. And you're pressing down. Head is up, you're looking where you're going. This is all tricep and chest. Outside tries. You can have wider hands too. Fingers are really spread out. You're pushing from the palm, the chest, the core. Super strong, y'all. Or you're going full out in your advanced push-up, okay? Down, push-up. Nice and easy. I'm going to do one more of my arm to beat down. From surfing yesterday. Holy crap. Okay. Next thing we're doing is Superman's. So we're on our tummies. Woo! Tummies. Feet are out behind us. Hands are out in front. And you might be wondering what this ball is doing here. We're gonna do a finisher with it, okay? So here we go, ready? And chin up, chest up, hands and feet off the ground. And we are kicking. Kicking, paddling, get to the other side of the pool. Kick, kick, kick. Keep that chin up, chest up. Relax the neck. Keep going, y'all. We have 10 seconds left. Keep going, press through. Almost there, two. One, phew, okay, we're going to do a finisher with this ball, something to do with our glutes, okay, so we're going to do 40 seconds on each side, a little finisher, it's also for your core as well, we are going to be down on our elbow, or you can lay flat out with your arms out in front of you for this, okay, side plank position, I'm bringing this ball up onto my thigh, in between my knee and my hip bone. Bottom leg can be bent back for more leverage, pressing off the ground with my chest and obliques, and we're raising our leg up. You do not have to have a weight to do this. You can put your water bottle on your leg. Nice, slow movements. You see I'm not going fast. I really don't care about reps. I just care how the move is made. Make sure you're breathing, you're pushing off the ground, you're not sinking onto the floor. If your body gets tired from being up off of your, on your elbow, you can lay down and do this move. This is a finisher, so it's burning. And the slower you do this move, the better results you're gonna get. That little stop at the top fires that glute muscle. We have five seconds. Phew. I think this workout took us under 15 minutes, but that was mostly because I'm talking. <laughs> Last one. And down. Roll over. Switch sides. Here we go, y'all. Bottom leg bends back for more leverage. Elbows in line with your armpit. Always get yourself set in your position before you start this. 
foot's flexed, pushing off the ground. Here we go. Stabilize whatever you're holding on to. Nice, hold at the top. Press off the ground with your obliques. I am fully sweating. I think this full workout is about six minutes, maybe. Closer to five and a half for one circuit. And you can spread these circuits in, uh, around throughout your day. You don't have to do all five at once. We got 15 seconds. Leg cramp. Almost there. Keep pushing. Get yourself off the ground. Don't sink down into your shoulder and back. Be strong with your chest. Last one. Nice. Roll that ball down. Stand up. Thank your body for being so strong today. It's great having you all here. Thank you again for coming in. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk with you guys soon.